2006 uh, F-150 5.4 liter engine. Uh, my truck is pulling an 0304. You know, with my little diagnostic thing there, you can get one for 20 bucks. I suggest that you pay the extra couple dollars to get one that does ABS also. Uh, that's what I wish I would have done. This just does the engine codes. Anyway, pulling, pulling a 304. Uh, now, the way the uh, these uh, numbers on the uh, Ford uh, Triton engines are done is uh, uh, PO301, 234. Of course, I'm lucky. It's number four. And then it's 5678. All right, cool. Anyway, uh, mine's 304. What I'm doing here today is pulling a 304. Oh, 300 is uh, uh, the code 300 is if uh, it's like uh, it's all over the place or something like that. So you really don't know which uh, cylinder. That's with 300, then it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 over there. Okay, anyway, uh, mine's 304, lucky me. Uh, it's pulling a 304. What I'm going to do, is I'm, 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 these are all brand new coils. I thought that would fix the problem. Anyway, uh, uh, what, I'm, what I'm doing today is I pull the coil off of this. Oh, and before you go back there, okay, for back here on number four cylinder, I pull this off, real easy to do. Uh, this thing pulls back and uh, just pops right off. And I also take off the injector thing right there and pull off the coil that uh, goes, the, the plug that goes on top of your coil. Uh, what I'm doing anyway, let's get to the point here. What I'm doing is I'm uh, swapping the coils. Maybe by chance, uh, that's a bad coil that I put back there, you know. And uh, but I'm taking the coil from uh, 304, going to swap it with three or two or one of these over somewhere. And I'm going to swap it and put the coil that's good here back there and take the 304 coil, put it here. And if the if the code fault now here's the thing here's the whole shebang if the code goes from 304 to 301 or 302 then it's the coil it's not the uh, uh, it's not the spark plug and we've all seen the videos uh, about how fun it is to change the spark plugs on these things I've already bought them and I'm praying to God it's not a spark plug I'm praying to God that it follows the coil uh, from 304 to 302 or three, whatever you get it right. Anyway, uh, and I did save the coils, except for that bad one that's pulling a 304. Uh, so what I'm going to do is if the, if the code does follow uh, from 304 to 302 or whatever, I got some old coils that I took off a week ago. I'm going to put one on there and see if that gets rid of the code all together. Okay, now, uh, I, I had a question uh, about how much uh, dielectric grease to put. I was curious, how much do you put on it? Well, that's what I'm doing. Just, okay put a big old blob on that bad boy put a big old blob on it you know and uh, that's how much you put on it uh, before you put it down uh, on top of the cord and another thing uh, these these are uh, the screws the screws that go into uh, the hold the uh, coils uh, they're aluminum real good right now they feel like aluminum so if they get if they fall down uh, you know down into here somewhere you know that little magnet thing that you can get ain't gonna get it out right you know so uh as soon as you, okay what, what i do and i ain't lost one yet <laughs> knock on whatever uh is uh as soon as you can screw that thing with your fingers as soon as you can get some fingers on that bad boy that seven millimeter uh that holds the cool down put your fingers on it as soon as you can get some fingers on it and uh and, and take it out that way don't have it get loose with your socket and you know don't take any chance and, and don't be in a hurry either okay hope this helps uh hope this helps you uh once again 2000 uh Six Ford uh, F-150 5.4. I believe the same is it's the same with the 4.6. And uh, good luck out there, guys. All right, bye.